For the latest pictures from Fort Walton Beach. This is about 190 miles from the center of the circulation of Hurricane Katrina. Angry Gulf of Mexico here. Waves up, wave heights up uh, 50 miles to the south of the coast. We have had some seas measured at 47 feet. I'm Jeff Morrow here in Covington, Louisiana. We have some uh, trees starting to snap off here, and we'll tell you more about how strong the winds are getting. It looks like the wind will be the major issue just north of Lake Pontchartrain. I'll have a live report in just a moment. Much the same case here, Jeff, this morning. Wind and, uh, boy, this is horizontal rain stinging. We've had gusts already up to 60 miles an hour, and it's only going to get worse. Well, good morning and welcome to our special storm alert coverage of Hurricane Katrina. I'm Heather Tesh. And I'm Marshall C. So let's take a look at what's going on out there with this hurricane. Uh, take you first to New Orleans. And again, New Orleans here. Very rough conditions as you see some of the rain and wind coming in across this area. We have had some reports here of some winds uh, gusting up to 85 miles per hour in this region. Keep in mind that this is one of the most powerful storms now in U.S. history. Only three other hurricanes in the Atlantic recorded lower pressure than Katrina. Let's take a look at the current statistics here as uh, Katrina officially made landfall at 610 Central Daylight Time. It's the second landfall. Looks like it'll be a third one, too. Also had a report out of Pascagoula, Mississippi, with some winds now gusting to 113 miles per hour. And that's still well away from the center of circulation. And we can look at the swath here, and you can see that the impacts inland are going to be quite great over the next few days. We'll start you in Mississippi and Alabama and where Katrina makes it across the coast. Here's what it looks like early tomorrow morning. Center circulation likely to be over northern Mississippi, perhaps in northwestern Alabama. And that will may have a major impact in terms of power outages, possible flooding from rain, too, as those winds will not die down quickly.